Well, good morning, Jeff. Uh, welcome to another unboxing. Yeah, so exciting. I love you. Know, I was just on Facebook the other day and somebody put the Kiss Gene Simmons mask up. And so I, of course, went back and provided the link to our unboxing of that historic, historic stuff. So, Absolutely. yeah. Now, our, our last unboxing was a uh, mystery type box from um, the $5 record store. That was fun. It, it was fun. Now, what I've done now is I, on Etsy, of all things, this popped up and it's Nail City Records. That's their logo right there. Oh, okay. And they offer several different curator bundles is what they're calling it. Oh. And it was interesting because I went ahead and I bought the cheapest one they had and it was 40 bucks and it guaranteed you hand-picked CDs. Now I get an email in my spam that had a questionnaire and I didn't think anything of it. So I disregarded it. I get another email. I thought, well, maybe I better look at this. Sure enough, they, it was nail city records and they were asking me my preferences in music. Uh, okay. And the, the gal says, look, you paid for this and we want to give you something to what you're asking for. So please finish this questionnaire. So, so I did just for you, Frank, just these have been handpicked just for me. And, and before I open this up, it is sealed. I'll let you know. They asked a variety of questions of styles of music, uh, genres, years, things like that. And I went more on the, uh, European rock style, Scorpions, um, Iron Maiden, Thin Lizzy. I, I picked bands like that to see what kind of jewels we would get in this box set. So shall we open it? Sure. But before we do, yes, size and your shirt, I know exactly what this is. Yes. Okay. This, what is this? This is a preview version of the Revolver Super Deluxe Giles Martin remix. It's a preview. You may be onto something. Yeah. Yeah. You may be onto something because I, I'm a, a firm believer in the universe and how it works. And I've been channeling that because I, I really want to purchase that and see how that is. You got it in the mystery box. It could be. Let's it could open be. it. All okay. right. Be careful, Frank. All right. Yeah. We don't want a medical emergency live on. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. I've um, taken. I've taken first aid classes and I know how to make a tourniquet from, from like a condom, but <laughs> so hopefully a brand new one. Okay. So what we have here is a box inside another box. Okay. So it's protected. Right. And I have a list. I'll set this down. Based on the answers you provided to the survey, we chose the following CDs to include in your curated box. Especially for Frank. I Especially love this. Especially for me. Yep. Now, I have to say, um, does not sound very European. <laughs> oh, no. We'll see. All right. But I'm excited just the same. Yeah. Yeah. If nothing else, these mysteries are just a ton of fun. Oh, I think so. Yeah. All right. I'm going to dig in here. The first one will be Brick Mistress okay. Anthology. Have you ever okay. heard of Brick Mistress? No, 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 no. But that cover is interesting. Yeah, that is. Um, I, this is from San Jose, California. So oh, not, not very, very European. European. No, no, no. Not at all. It's, it's 20 songs, two CDs. Okay, That's all right. Cool. So your introduction will be the anthology for Brick. Yes. Oh, Pearl Jam. All right. Ten. Okay. I own this already. Okay. Um, might but be I, doing some yeah. giveaways in the near future. That might be the European version of that. Yeah, that could be a very European. The Allman Brothers Band anthology. Can you get more European than that? No. This <laughs> is deep, deep, deep. European vibes here. Great band, though, by the way. Yes. Okay. Chicago plays the Stones. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, uh, Chicago, it says, let it 
Oh, it, it's different people that live. In <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's worse. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Have you ever heard of um, Billy Boy Arnold? No, I'm, mm. I'm afraid. John Premier or John Primer? No, no, no. No. Uh, Jimmy Burns? No, no. Mm. Omar Coleman? No, I can't. I'm not familiar with Omar. Okay. Well, here's Buddy Guy featuring Mick Jagger. Okay. All right. And of course, they're doing the song Do, 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 Do. Familiar with that song? No, but is that, I've seen the video with the two of the, with them performing together, I think on a couple different occasions. Might be it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm guessing this is Chicago blues people. Okay. Playing the Stones, That's which might not be so bad. Yeah. It's interesting, if nothing else. And of course, the Stones are European. Right. So they nailed it. They That's nailed it. Right on the money with that. I keep going in the sleeve and not the box. Okay. You're missing the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the wrong hole. Hey, the Rolling Stones. Okay. Beggar's right. Banquet. Now, this is, I do not own this. Oh. So right now, this and Brick Mistress are running neck and neck. Beggar's Banquet is awesome. Oh. Ozzy, Bark at the Moon. I know you own that. I do own this. And a little little story on this. When they came out, I had a cassette player in my car. And it was a so it was a higher price cassette player. And this cassette was on constant replay for probably six months. I love this CD so much. It's great. But then when I went to eject the cassette, oh no, wouldn't come out. Yeah, I had tape everywhere. So luckily, later on, <laughs> a couple of years later, CDs came out, and uh, I got that. I love that story. Oh, yeah. I love it and hate it at the same time. Did you see Ozzy on TV the other day at the uh, football? No, he played I... halftime Thursday night. I heard it he was, was five minutes, five seconds. Disrespectful to Ozzy. They, they, they showed 10 seconds of his lip syncing show. So. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Uh, from beneath the garage, Death Records prevents Volume One. Okay. Uh, Shadow of Silence. Oh, this is just dark, dark death music here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Naomi is one name of one of the bands. The uh, The Rapture. Yeah, I don't even know if I'll open that. That could just open all kinds of evil in my house. I don't even know yeah. if I'll play that one. <laughs> I'm with you there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes this is not worth it. <laughs> How about <sighs> the Stone Kicked Souls? Oh no, not for actually. Me. It's Stone Wicked Should or Soud. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Never heard of it, and I, I can't wow. even pronounce it. Yeah, I'll put that Stone okay. Kicked Souls. Correct. Yeah, that's yeah. A, looks like to me. I like the cover. That's yeah, cool. it almost looks like a um, a ripoff of another band, um, Smoky Ghosts of Big Trees or something. You know, I just <laughs> somebody <laughs> did something yeah. there. <laughs> yes, very influential that band. Yes, yes. My final album here is um, Nielsen Schmilson by Harry Nielsen. Classic. That... I have not heard this thing. Oh, yeah. So you have to be in the mood for it, I would say. But that album yeah. is totally classic. It's cool. It's amazing. I hope you like it. I probably will. A lot of his other stuff I've, I've listened to and enjoyed. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, again, you have to be in the mood. But this is like a sound. feels like a two CD thing or something. No, huh. just one. Huh. Cool. So that was handpicked for me. Awesome. There's some pretty good stuff in there and some things that might be worth checking into in a couple, uh, maybe a couple coasters too. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, I we'll have to go back and see brick mistress. I just don't know about this. Um, songs are nine lives, the slave. There is no more electric chair, the sign of light. Mm, okay. So two CDs. Look at this. They spared no expense in um, hand curating this for me. <laughs> the well, cover kind of reminds me of that creepy movie with that guy that sneaks into the house and then puts makeup all over his face. And have you seen that where he's against the brick wall and he's kind of hiding while a lady comes home and he's like uh, 
camouflaged into the brick wall. So I missed that one. I don't it's good. <laughs> it, 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 it's a it's a B horror movie. I love B horror movies, but I, I missed that one. I don't know how. Uh, well, nice little package from Nail City Records curated. Okay, let me ask you. Let's see, we have three 10 CDs, 40 bucks. You think that was worth it? I think so. I would say so. I mean, you got Beggar's Banquet, you got that Harry Nielsen. Harry Nielsen? Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. And and to be honest, I'm really interested in that Chicago plays the Stones. Yeah. I thought it was the band Chicago at first. I got to be honest. And then I did too. I did too. I thought that that could be cool. Yeah, horns, right? Yeah. No, it's Chicago blues. So I'll definitely give this a a listen. And it's it's quite a package. Look at this book. I mean, a lot going on there. You're going to have to report out. And if nothing else, $40 for the entertainment of Open and Mystery is worth it, in my opinion. Me too. It's priceless. Priceless. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) But we got to teach, we got to teach them some geography over at Nail, what Nailed Cat? What are they? Nail City Records. Nail City Records. We're going to have to teach them some geography. Yeah. I think they're like in West Virginia or Massachusetts or something. So, okay. Say no more. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, sorry. It was West Virginia. Who knows? I about that. No I will double check that. <laughs> no offense intended. <laughs> yeah. well, I want to thank you for joining us uh, uh, for another great unboxing. I saw one on, on um, Amazon that has candies from around the world. But if oh. we're going to do this, we have to be in the same room or at least buy two of them and open them at the same time. That sounds like a blast. That would be fun. That would be fun. And I'm a candy freak. See, and I like candy, but I don't want to eat crickets and, you know, grasshopper legs and all that kind of stuff. And I have a feeling that's what we get. Ooh. So it might be worth checking out. And then we'd have to dare each other to, to even try it. <laughs> I'll pass this one to you because it's still moving, Frank. There you go. <laughs> All right, Jeff. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it.